Hello, BookTube. One of my favorite readathons of all time is about to return. <laughs> I'm referring, of course, to the Tome Topple Challenge done by Sam at Thoughts on Tomes. Uh, she put up her video, I'm sure you've all seen it, uh, where she's announcing the next Tome Topple, which is going from June 26th to, uh, I think it's uh, July 12th. It's, it's uh, <clears throat> two weeks. June 26th to July 12th. And the categories that she put up new challenges, they're of course informal. You, the, the goal is simply to use this challenge as a sort of communal kick in the keister to tackle those huge books that have been staring down at you from your shelves forever and get them done. Uh, <clears throat> so there are a bunch of, of challenges this time around, and the category, the, the fundamental categorization is still the same. A tome is considered a book over 500 pages. Uh, so I've got the, the, uh, the list of challenges. The first one is to read more than one tome. You should be reading two big books in those two weeks. That's not bad. <laughs> That's not bad as a challenge. I've got some visual aids here of the stuff I'm going to go through. I'm going to do myself. The second one is to read a graphic novel over 500 pages. And because uh, original graphic novels over 500 pages are a little bit hard to come by, uh, uh, Sam and her, her fellow hosts have broadened this to include collections, omnibus editions. Uh, and there's one that's going to arrive just in time <laughs> for me. It's this. It's The Legion of Superheroes Silver Age Omnibus Volume 2 uh, that contains the high point of the Silver Age of the Legion, my beloved Legion of Superheroes, a team of teenage superpowered, of superpowered teenagers in the 30th century. Uh, this is a collection of reprints from uh, half a decade, half a century ago, and includes some of their most classic adventures. I have the first volume, I pour over it all the time. And I've been waiting for the second volume. I think it comes out next week. It should come out perfectly timed for, for this uh, for this readathon. So that's the one that I'll be doing. It's going to be absolutely immense. So it will clearly it will clearly cross the hurdle of 500 pages. Then the next one is to read a uh, a tome that's part of a series. And as far as I can tell, Tome Topple has no genre restrictions of any kind. I think I think it's. Uh, it probably originated talking about YA novels. Sam seems to read a lot of YA. Uh, and one of the challenges is always to read an adult tome, <laughs> which wouldn't be there if it were if it had originated, you know, in the world of, of, uh, of adult books. Uh, but I don't see any genre restrictions. I don't see any reason in, in the, the... I'm sure that Sam would say there are no restrictions of any kind. And she's right. Keep in mind, this is all informal. This is all in fun. Uh, but I don't see anything that, that allows me not to do another anthology for this, uh, if it's part of a series. Maybe not. Uh, certainly there's plenty of time and no shortage of books. But for for sentimental reasons, uh, the one that I want to do is this. It's it's The Year's Best Science Fiction by Gardner Dozwa. This is the 35th gigantic volume that he puts together with his huge uh, Omnium Gatherum essay at the beginning about the state of science fiction in popular culture. And then dozens of short stories that he has called from an encyclopedic reading, uh, and he and his team have called them from an encyclopedic reading of all venues where science fiction short fiction appears. And it's sentimental, it's bittersweet, because Gardner de Lozois got to 35 of these anthologies and then died. He just recently died, so there won't be any more. Not under his helm, not solely under his creative vision. Uh, but if if antho I know that anthologies don't count for some of the categories. Maybe they don't count for this either, but certainly I will be reading this anyway. <laughs> it's not like I'm going to be reading only two tomes in this two-week period. Uh, but I thought I'd mention it anyway because it's very sad uh, and because the, the year's best science fiction is an anthology that you just can't miss. Uh, but if, if, if I study the fine print and it turns out that anthologies don't apply, then I'll just I'll find something else uh, that's a book in a series. And then uh, the... the uh, Prompt number uh, four is to buddy read a series, is to buddy read a, a tome, uh, which is troublesome. <laughs> it raises a, oh, what have we got here? <laughs> this is not a tome, this is a little volume. <laughs> Who's that, Frida? Look at the people. Oh. Oh. Uh, buddy reads are, are uh, problematic 
for me to use a buzzword. Uh, at least they're seen that way through what I think are a couple of misapprehensions. I think a lot of people don't invite me into Buddy Reads. Well, there's also, I mean, there's primarily the fact that I'm obnoxious and disliked. But aside from that, I think people don't invite me into Buddy Reads because A, they think I'll already have read the book and won't want to read it again. And B, they'll, they'll think, well, he reads much faster than we do, so he'll be bored the whole time. Neither one of those things is true. I am perfectly happy to reread a book for the fun of the communal aspect of a buddy read, and I'm perfectly happy to crawl along at whatever reading page. I've got plenty of other stuff to read. If you, if we decide in a buddy read that we're reading 35 pages a week, I will read 35 pages a week. I've got plenty of other stuff to read. I don't need to to race ahead. Uh, but it, you know, this 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 uh, category raises a problem because I, I would love to buddy read a book. I would love to buddy read a tome. If any of you are interested in re in buddy reading a tome, keep in mind it doesn't have to be up at my end of the pool around 1,100 pages. We can just pick one that's 500 pages long. That's a lot of books, uh, and it's two weeks to do it, so it it might be possible. <laughs> so, uh, we'll be doing uh, a read-alongs on my channel anyway, but that's not the same thing as a buddy read on Voxer where you're sharing random thoughts late in the night or whatever and laughing over jokes and in-jokes. I'd like to do that, and I, I don't get I don't get invited, partially, again, because I'm obnoxious and disliked, but mainly, I think, because people think it wouldn't work logistically, and I'm telling you it would. <laughs> so if any of you are interested in doing a, a tome buddy read from uh, June uh, 26th to July 12th, let me know, <laughs> and we'll pick a book, and that'll be fun. Uh, and then uh, the last, the uh, the last prompt is the, the one I was talking about: read an adult tome. Uh, and I will. I have one in mind. Uh, it it will also count as part of a series, uh, and it's this: it's Vengeful by V. E. Schwab, her sequel to Vicious, uh, which is a, a sort of superhero fiction superhero science fiction, and uh, I, I kind of sort of liked Vicious. I didn't I didn't like it as much as a lot of the rest of you did. Uh, and I admit, uh, she hates this teddy bear. She just goes after him with a vengeance. Leave him alone, you. Leave him alone. Uh, I, 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 uh, this is not the V.E. Schwab series, ongoing series, that I particularly like. And there might be others. There might be other, uh, other adult I'm sure there will be other adult tomes that uh, will come out right in the right time. For instance, biographies, histories, plenty of those come out over 500 pages. So that my, my list, in other words, could change the closer we get. Uh, but one way or another, I wanted to invite you all to do Tome Topple. It's so much fun, and it, it's a, a tremendous sense of accomplishment when you're done to, to say, look at that big fat book on yourself and say, all right, well, uh, with help from 20,000 other people, I got you finished. <laughs> so, uh, and also, so I'd invite you to do Tome Topple. I'd also invite you to think, maybe consider doing a buddy read of some tome. Uh, maybe we could make it a classic so that neither one of us is, is, uh, is put out, is, is financially put out. Because that's the one rule I have about buddy reads. I'm perfectly happy to crawl along at whatever reading speed the rest of you determine. And I'm perfectly happy to read whatever book you pick. But I will not spend money on a buddy read. I will not buy a book to do a buddy read. God help us! I, have a, I buy enough books as it is. So, so, but, but I have several books here at Hyde Cottage, so there, we ought to be able to find one that would work. Uh, so that's it. I just wanted to, to echo. I, she, Sam doesn't need any signal boosting from me. She's got forty thousand subscribers, but nevertheless, I wanted to echo that Tome Topple is upon us once again. A new round of Tome Topple. So uh, sort out your own TBRs and make videos so I can find out what you're doing. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you soon. Thank you, Booktube.